से प्रतिष्ठिता मनो में वाचे प्रतिष्ठित आवीरावीर्म एधि वेद से मणिस्थ श्रुत मे महासी अनेनाधीतेनाहूरात्र संदमी ऋत वदिष्यामि सत्यम वदिष्यामि तन्मावत तद्वक्तावत अवतु माम अवतु वक्तारम अवतु वक्तारम ओम शांति 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 ओम मे माय स्पीच बी फर्मली एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन माय माइंड मे दि माइंड टू बी फर्मली एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन माय स्पीच ओ सेल्फ एफिलजेंट लॉर्ड be revealed in my consciousness may the truths of the scriptures shine forth in my life may not what i learn from them ever forsake me let me live my life day and night according to their teachings i shall speak what is appropriate i shall speak the truth may that protect me may that protect the teacher om peace 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 let us feel our true divine nature which is full of bliss in the form of a fragrant beautiful flower in our center of being our heart let us feel that its fragrance has permeated my whole being it is felt everywhere i am enchanted by that beautiful fragrance
trying to find where it is coming from. When I want to search for it and went to search for it outside, I saw the intensity of the fragrance going down, reducing Thus I changed the direction as I st started searching within. I started feeling it more and more. I am feeling I am dissolved in it. I am that. Om, peace, peace, peace. So dear friends, let us begin with our regular prayers. Om Asatu Ma Sadgamaya Tamasu Ma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityur Ma Mamritam Gamaya Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Lead me from the unreal to the real, from darkness of ignorance to the light of knowledge, from the limited existence that is mortality to the immortality the unlimited, infinite existence. So this is the poetry of Hafiz imbued with, with tremendous divine loving experience. The poetry is an automatic expression where logic doesn't work. Logic goes up to an extent. The poetry, the feelings go much deeper. Uh, Sri Ramakrishna used to say, therefore, jnana means the uh, references to the logical understanding 
about God uh, only stays up to the outer parlor. But devotion, the loving connection with God, uh, goes right into the uh, inner apartments of the house, uh, right into the kitchen and so forth. So, uh, that is the uh, importance of loving connection with God. And all sages declare that it is the love and that can make us penetrate this wheel of ignorance and reach the goal of life. Uh, that is the religion of love uh, that is uh, presented by Hafiz. And we were seeing uh, this poem last time, uh, The Will of the Friend. Uh, the Hafi Hafiz doesn't give this title, but this is the how another translator has put the title there that we saw that we are together as it were. Uh, our desires and the head of our desires uh, is at the threshold of the mighty friend that is God. Mm, it is our desires and uh, the, where does that desire head to? If we follow the source of all desires, we see that the true desire is to merge with God. That is why that desire alone gets fulfilled. So, uh, and that is incomparable. We saw that my friends equal, I have not seen. Uh, it is the, uh, that, like the folding of the leaves of the rose, but tightly folded, uh, that is. So, and then this, uh, as we start feeling the God more and more, that is the opening of the heart, as it were, you know, the tightly packed rose is evolving, becoming, you know, more open. Uh, so it is, of not alone am I a wine drinker of this cloister, profligate, consuming uh, this. This is the stage of this love, tremendous love, real love. Uh, and oh, many a great head in this uh, workshop is only the dust of the picture. And that is insignificant, you know. All uh, the big things that, that you see, uh, highly famed people, uh, they are just small particles of th uh, this picture of love. So, uh, this is all the dust. Sri Ramakrishna used to say the great sages like Shuka uh, were like ants uh, coming to the huge uh, that pot of or the heap of molasses so uh, these uh, so there are some small ants but uh, some are big ants that's all they are uh, like that this here he says about the picture of the d dust of the picture so uh, verily thou combated uh, thy dress, uh, the uh, hair, uh, the beautiful, nice hair, so, and that you comb, uh, and then the fragrance of that is getting scattered everywhere. Uh, since that breeze became like civet, I uh, mean, a small animal that runs very fast, like a cat, uh, that uh, we hear about civet cats. So it is a, an animal uh, like cat that runs swiftly, very swift. So uh, that is how we get the dust of uh, that 
just uh, a slight glimpse of God, Kena Upanishad uh, gives similar analogy uh, that like the striking, you know, the, when you see the thunderbolt, that, uh, that electric flash that strikes in the sky. Uh, and then it goes, the lightning, woo, woo. Before you can show it to some friend, hey, look, it's gone. So uh, everything is uh, just the, wherever you find there is a glimpse of God, a glimpse, you get a small glimpse. That is also the idea uh, in many Krishna temples uh, that they give what is called jhaki darshan means for, for just a moment you see the glimpse uh, but you have to search uh, it is everything in the world if you look at it gives us the glimpse of the divine god is pervaded in everything uh, every wave gives the uh, that uh, as glimpse of the ocean every wave is really an ocean gives the glimpse of the ocean so that is how uh, it shows and vanishes but our mind gets caught in the wave and we lose the ocean so that is how this beautiful idea is there there the sprinkling of thy face be every rose leaf that is in this world the ransom of the lofty form be every cypress that is on the river bank all beautiful imageries of how uh, the god is scattering its presence in so many beautiful forms so many attractive things that it is what that is you know a lot of grass is all around but then uh, there is the petal of rose there that uh, makes us that uh, a special presence. So similarly that every cypress that is on the river bank, the trees. And so uh, all this is uh, for a devotee reminds the presence of God, uh, but it is fleeting. Uh, even for an ordinary person, wherever there is a feeling of beauty, it is, uh, let us think what is beautiful. And God alone is the source of all that is beautiful, all that is attractive. The, uh, in the, uh, this 10th uh, chapter, uh, of Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna describes that uh, wherever you see any glimpse of greatness, know that it is my presence. Even in the seventh chapter, you see this idea that I am in everything uh, that is very appealing to you, that uh, makes a, a special impact on you, uh, all the great qualities in this world are just my expression. So uh, that is how uh, in the description of his love, even the tongue of speech is dumb. Uh, what room for the feeble reed, split of tongue, of, uh, folly uttering? Uh, even the, you know, the <laughs> Uh, the tongue of speech, now speech is actually product uh, uh, of the movement of tongue. So even that source of speech becomes dumb. Uh, what to speak means it is so far away from description. Uh, whatever we try to describe uh, the, that through words, uh, the words kind of corrupt it. We cannot make any proper description and we cannot make any word image or any image of that exp experience. And so what to speak uh, that what room for the feeble reed, split of tongue, 
and it utters only follies. So, of happy omen, thy face came into my heart. My desire uh, I shall gain. That face of uh, now a person, uh, the uh, recognizing feature of that person is face. Mm. That is why uh, on your you know driving license, uh, what is the photograph? Huh? What nirja? What photograph you have there? Uh, not of your leg, uh, but of your face, because face is used for recognizing mm. the presence of somebody. You look at the face, and then you see that is that person. Uh, that yes. Uh, Otherwise, just by seeing the hand or uh, leg or belly, you don't see, recognize that person, face. So it is, uh, yeah, there are many jokes about it. I don't want to waste time in telling those. But yeah, face is with which you recognize. But that is not the whole being as such. Mm. It is when uh, your face is recognized by at the airport or uh, the, yeah that this is the right person. Then not only your face is allowed to pass through the security, your whole body is allowed. Not that your face is right. Let only the face go through the security. Your whole body is allowed to go. So uh, face is the recognizing sign. That's all. So what is meant here is that uh, I want to meet you and I get the glimpse of you through your face uh, that here you are. So, uh, but that is the, the desire, the yearning is that to meet you, oh my beloved. Uh, that is, that yearning is, you know, now I get a glimpse. That is how a spiritual aspirant, uh, when through this loving uh, practice, loving pursuit of that uh, yearning, comes at, at a stage when uh, that uh, face is seen as it were. The presence is now concretely perceived. There you are, you know, that is how uh, one can see it, feel it, understand it. So it is, uh, I shall gain, now you are sure that you will get it. For after the happy woman is the happy state, not at this time is Hafiz's heart in the fire of search. And now you go full-fledged, now you see, there, there he is. And then with great intensity, very enhanced intensity, you go to meet uh, that person. Imagine, you know, uh, somebody whom you love very dearly and want to embrace that person. Uh, and you heard uh, that that person, and uh, news only, that the person is uh, in this place, in this building. That person has come to Vedanta Center with, here in Providence. Okay, then you approach, come into Vedanta Center, where there are so many places here, so many rooms there, where uh, can I see that person? You hear the voice. Oh, yes, that is uh, uh, the, the uh, his or her voice I am hearing and then still you are not sure exactly where because the uh, the ears they just convey the but where from it is coming it is because sound reverberates you know so whether here or there or there uh, you follow the sound uh, you are cautious about whether you are going in the right direction or wrong direction. But when you see the face, when you see the person, now you rush uh, towards that person 
hey here you are so yeah it is uh, once at a very crowded train station in india uh, i was uh, uh, had gone to receive somebody and then uh, yeah there was was the on the cell phone uh, we were uh, toy where are you uh, well you know there is that uh, that ad of that uh, toothpaste that uh, there uh, i am just uh, getting down there oh where is it so i kept on looking uh, how what number of the that compartment or the particular train bogey oh well it is uh, uh, and then i keep on looking searching here there uh, and then oh okay now i see you and then i rush there so because now you are sure of the location that is why uh, believe we believe our eyes much more than believe our ears so it is uh, for uh, that not at this time is hafiz heart in the fire of search it is for in eternity without beginning it was the possessor of the mark of love like this self growing wild tulip yeah now uh, he sees that that is it is a search without beginning and without beginning uh, god is always present with us never had gone away it is we were searching and searching the searching ends uh, that yes we have found that god who actually never left us was always there uh, and that is but there is the joy of finding uh, like uh, uh, the reading glasses uh pushed on the forehead and then you keep on looking for it become so anxious where did i miss it i need it i have to read something now without that how can it uh, can i work uh, i will not be able to work at all oh you keep looking everywhere with a uh, lot of anxiety behind uh, yearning is there i must find it and where do you find it oh did it ever leave you those glasses never left you uh, they were ever there you just oh oh okay and what is the that uh, happiness ha got it got it uh, by the time you might have called your 10 friends hey did i miss uh, leave there i hey, just can you look at this place for me uh, and so forth uh, now oh oh uh, i was so stupid you know it was right even it never left my person uh, and yet i was looking here there everywhere so uh, that is how god never has left us is right there cannot leave us as some sages describe as the uh, the ornament made of gold ah uh, that say a gold ring can gold ever leave that no it always has to be there so uh, that is it that so now this is a new poem a different poem so uh this is uh, uh, in this wilberforce collection and in general in the diwan of hafiz collection uh, it is the 25th one uh, the what we read was 23rd uh, i skipped the 24th uh, anyway there are uh, many uh, about 800 such poems we will not be able to uh, take too many Uh, so uh, i will be taking some and skipping some so of a great favor from the threshold of the friend 
God hope mine is that it is a poem you know of tremendous love and great faith in the redeeming power of God redeeming means yes we become aware of a uh, lot of uh, problems lot of uh, shortcomings in us as a spiritual aspirant proceeds uh, sees that what is needed is this mm, what i have is something quite opposite mm, there is uh, purity is needed um, am i pure uh, an honest answer uh, say no no not to that extent at all uh, far from it uh, our behavior our uh, that in general way of perceiving the world everything a spiritual aspirant feels that i am wanting and so that is called sin you know sin is that the feeling that i am not uh, as good as uh, worthy of s- experiencing the ultimate truth uh, because you have to come to that level uh, if you want to see say the uh, view of a, a, t- a city uh, then but you can see it only from some point on the top of the mountain then you have to get to that level where from you will be able to see it now uh, this is i am at the bottom uh, i am not at that level but i am sure that while uh, uh, i am uh, erring a lot i have sinned a lot still uh, god is a great uh, redeemer there he says hope mine is i have this hope that a great sin i have done of his pardon hope mine is uh the hope is pardon pardon or forgiving actually the next stanza clears it more he doesn't look at it at all mm uh it is he doesn't care uh how big a mistake or sin anybody has committed mm, it is uh, it that god looks at our true divine nature and so doesn't really uh, care that oh has done lot of sins what of it uh, god has no uh, problem with it it is like holy mother said that you know that somebody was telling this devotee you know do you know her uh, that past how terrible that devotee was uh, and now also he has not it uh, seems uh, the devotee has not meant um, uh, his ways uh, the ways have not been mended so uh, holy mother said well if uh, my child is smeared with mud do i throw the child i remove the mud you know can you imagine you know, that is how uh, otherwise what hope do we have uh, that is the the redeeming power the compassion uh, of god uh, that is the only source of hope that we have so because god doesn't uh, do this fault once what happened was that uh, swami uh, that uh, latu maharaj adbhutananda uh, was told by shri ramakrishna that look uh, for human beings if you do 100 good things and something not uh, according to their wish uh, 
uh, that human beings will remember only that thing that this fellow did not do more that for me and whole life will be cursing you for that god's case is opposite you know uh, that if even if you have committed 100 follies but one good thing one right thing and god will note only that right thing mm. oh, well 100 follies after all they are uh, human beings uh, they uh, will make that it is uh, they are after all human beings uh, so that is how god uh, looks at us so in spite of having uh, this human frailties still this person uh, has tried the best and uh, that is what god looks at that it is uh, like a great hero who uh, with bare hands uh, fought a tiger and subdued and killed that tiger oh uh, because a human being is nothing uh, in the face uh, of the tiger the strength of tiger is uh, many many times more in every respect than a human being uh, human being uh, is if the tiger kills the human being there is no wonder at all nobody praises wow what a strong tiger it was <laughs> there is uh, that is nothing for the tiger but if it is opposite wow that uh, that human being will be considered a big hero yeah as some time back i read uh, a village woman and uh, there was a uh, tiger attack and then she had a stick with the stick uh, not that she killed the tiger but made the tiger retreat run away now why it became a news because it is very uh, uh, unusual unexpected heroic job so it becomes a news there is a lot of praise to be uh, due to this person this woman who with a stick just made the tiger run away wow therefore you know uh, human beings they uh, fall prey to all desires uh, worldly things and they are full it is no wonder friends that we are full of lust and greed and all those things uh, by being human that is natural but some human beings they don't want to get cowed down by this nature they want to assert their inner divinity stand up against it yes god says yes here is someone here is the hero wow so uh, that is the uh, what he hopes for that my struggles will be seen by god uh, and will reward me uh, so pardon means just that it is i know that he will pass by my sin means even not notice just pass by Uh, forgive pardon and all that they are uh, the words that are have been put in the translation for explanation uh, but what it means is he will not even take notice of those faults they are expected uh, it is uh, yeah a dilapidated house you know uh, this wall is fallen this that is fallen yeah it is a dilapidated house uh, what more do you expect about it but if you see some yeah something that is uh, uh, that can be retrieved that can be still used that is what one looks for so although uh, pan like and that is uh, uh, the and omnipotent he is pan is that 
that jinni like being you know uh, who is uh, a celestial being with mighty power and is both uh, can be favoring you and destructive too uh, like that jinni uh, somebody finds a bottle jinni and opens the bottle and then mm, what do you want tell me quickly and whatever the person tells he does it in no time otherwise i am going to uh, kill you the moment you uh, i cannot get any work from you i will kill you so now this fellow uh, build me a, a palace uh, in no time it was built okay uh, this thing that thing whatever he thought he told uh, it was all done now what to tell the fellow was about to eat and then he found it a, a curly tail of dog and said okay straighten it for me and then the genie that genie kept on doing it uh, never could do so it is uh, like that uh, they uh, very ferocious uh, very powerful can decimate you but also uh, is compassionate Uh, so both these things are together there so it is uh, the word that is used there is something like uh, that pari so uh, he is uh, merciful and compassionate he is to such a degree merciful and compassionate to such a degree i wept that everyone who passed by me when he beheld running the pearl of our tears spake saying ah, that you want it to that extent you know the eyes were crying 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 i want i want this ah, that is the trouble that god puts you in do you really want uh, sri ramakrishna used to give this similar example that people say i uh, want god so many say that i want to see god how much do we want to see god mm, it is uh, he said that if uh, money is lost some relation in, uh, is uh, gone died or some other calamity falls people shed a uh, yeah, bucket full of tears and uh, no end to them who has cried for not seeing god uh, that is the issue you know do we really want then you will get it if you don't want then what can be done Uh, you are wanting also has to be that level so he says that look what happened oh, um, my tears were rolling down like uh, and big pearls uh, they were and they were flowing that passers by uh, uh, that running the pearl of our tears speak saying and uh, this stream what it is uh, like what stream it is uh, it became so profuse that they started flowing like a river a stream so much of anguish and uh, yearning is there uh, it is very important this uh, uh, one must feel that pinch of this separation it is and then uh, one comes to that level where one can really feel the divine presence at the head of the street we played our head life like a ball mm this is uh, that is the yeah you do not uh that this is what is put at bet we played our head like a ball 
uh, a ball how much do we care for that for uh, that but head uh, it was uh, made like a ball and played this uh, nan nyu saying this ball what is it this street what is this they don't uh, because it is head but those uh, it is being used like a ball and looks different so people wonder what kind of ball is this that they are playing at this street this street that leads to god so this play is uh, going on uh, that you don't care idea is that you are sacrificing everything uh, it is head is uh, the most valuable uh, part of human body uh, do you get it charlie ha uh, yeah it is if somebody comes to hit you cover your head for okay don't hit here uh, because that is the important most important part so uh, head is therefore to be protected so uh, even the nature has provided lot of protection to the head uh, it is uh, told therefore that you should put a helmet Uh, uh it is uh, in the construction this thing you see hard hat people uh, working there or even those who go go to visit uh, they have to put on hard hats yeah, my father said i had a thick skull uh, you uh, okay okay yeah that is in a different sense right right uh, he was not wrong i am sure yeah <laughs> so thick skull your father said you have a thick skull uh, yeah nothing goes in huh? <laughs> okay <laughs> okay 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 yeah so you could have asked where did i get it from <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh, that it is uh, this what is this street this head is the the ultimate thing uh so you do not you know protect your whole body uh when you are on the bike uh the only head is important other things can be managed but head injury no so head is like that then uh speechless that trust the attraction of divine grace uh it is the uh beautiful hair is uh, this imagery he had used earlier also the beloved's beautiful hair and uh, not only beautiful in uh, appearance they are fragrant too uh, when there is love everything becomes attractive so it is but then knows that Uh, well it is not the, i want the whole person the whole beloved not just uh, a strand of hair so uh, the against thy heart alluring uh, trust the way of speech whose is um, the speech cannot go too far that allurement of that uh, hair uh, means your glimpse your little presence that is appearing through the uh, hair fragrant hair uh, that is uh, drawing me how i cannot describe that the speech cannot go far uh, a long lifetime it is since we perceive the perfume of thy dress yet in the perfume place of my heart the perfume of that great perfume is uh, <laughs> uh, it is uh, just faint uh, feeling of perfume there 
but the perfume of that perfume the essence of that perfume the source uh, from which it is getting uh, spread uh, that is ever in my heart and uh, that is what we were meditating on you know that it is not out there uh, there you keep on looking without finding but the source you discover uh, that it is uh, that small mouth no trace whereof i see is not uh, that uh, uh, so that uh, the outer shape that small mouth uh, i see it is not uh, that waist is only a hair uh, the Uh, the person that you are looking for the appearance is uh, uh, just very hazy and small thin and the body the waist the word used here is waist but it is not just the whole body is uh, just a small hair like thin thing not clearly visible so what to speak of the uh, visibility of the hair uh, it is that you are looking for the fragrance of which again so how will you find it and i know not what that hair is i don't know at all o oh, true beloved at the picture of that peerless form i wonder saying how goeth if not from my eye whose work momentarily washing and washing with the stream of tears is mm. <laughs> uh, that it is washing and washing uh, they when what happens is that earlier in the pre pre poem we Uh, he spoke of sin uh, but uh, the tears they keep all that washing uh, and our heart starts getting cleaner and cleaner mm, it is uh, that is uh, uh, w- w- what happens the yearning makes all other things go away from our awareness Mm, it is that thing alone is important uh, they we push everything else and which are not an not important things at all in life and that is what happens when somebody takes sincerely to spiritual path mm, all those things which appear to be very important uh they lose their significance they lose their importance completely uh that it is at one time that person may be thinking that uh, yes uh, uh this uh, working for the in the political field uh, is very important i must establish uh, a just government uh and was working for it uh, shouting slogans uh it is uh, participating in the protest marches and so forth it is uh, that preference uh, now we seen that that doesn't happen as that it is not it only makes my voice hoarse that's all uh it is uh, you would be thinking that well my g- goal is uh, to uh, be a great athlete well uh, you worked for that that falls away i want to become a big scientist oh, that falls away all other things start becoming in uh, in unimportant in life it is everything else becomes unimportant in life uh that is the washing mm. if you want several things you won't get that and so first stop running to those 
several things. Uh, no, I want to love God, but I am in love with so many other things, other people and all that. Mm. Then you won't get it. It is, uh, if that is one-pointed love to God, then only you get it. Yearning is like that. It is, uh, some time back I had told this story, this incident, that in uh, a, a mobile dispensary that was working, I had gone with, the, used to go with that uh, into various villages. In one village, a lady had come to, t to take the medicine, to take the treatment, and uh, with her was uh, a little child. And the child, as per the nature of the child, uh, was touching this, taking this, taking that. Uh, it is. Uh, so the doctor and others were scolding him, push, pulling him back. Hey, uh, no, no, don't touch that. Uh, don't take it. And so, um, uh, the, then the mother was told, hey, did you bring that bottle to take the medicine in? Uh, no, no, uh, okay, I will uh, run and get it. My home is right near. So she said, uh, yes, let the child remain here. And the child uh, started crying like anything. Uh, nobody could pacify the fellow. All those things that he was trying to get, the doctor said, okay, take this. <laughs> that one bottle he was very much attracted to. Doctor said, take this. He just threw it away with such uh, disgust. Uh, only mo I want mother, that's it. Yeah. So that one-pointed yearning uh, is required, you know. Uh, we want God, but why do we not get it? We want several things in life. Uh, yes, God is uh, good to be uh, to have God in life, uh, but you know, one should be an all-rounder. Uh, one should uh, have a completely developed, multi-sided personality. Uh, the arguments one can give very nicely, you know. So it is. Uh, so. Uh, 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 some part I will be giving to God, some part for sports, uh, some part for my family, some part for politics, uh, and so forth. Well, uh, it is no God is. Therefore, uh, in the Bible it is said, is God is a jealous God. Mm. What is the meaning of jealous God? Uh, won't allow any other love. Uh, if there is any other love, the God says bye-bye. So, the tears wash away all that other love. And uh, thus, that is the meaning of tears. And then, you see Hafiz. So, uh, bad as thy, uh, what is that? The, yes, yes, thy, thy distraught state, state, how that bad it is. Mm. Good uh, to the memory of the friends, uh, tress thy uh, distraught sight, uh, distraught state is. That distraught state is when you can then find the source of that fragrance. Uh, that is uh, when so much weeping happens uh, and then that makes you look distraught. But then uh, you see in the eyes of that God. Uh, it is now the time to give. Uh, it is, uh, that is how uh, this uh, poem is. We shall take some other poem uh, next Tuesday. 
have one announcement friends that it is from uh, today or actually from uh, last week itself uh, end of last week uh, there has been uh, much more spread of uh, corona uh, in this state uh, and today i saw that it has been put the at the category of uh, that uh, intense spreader spreading state uh, it is uh, not that uh, we are at the top of the uh, list of the states but even though our state is small uh, we play our role we don't f- uh, lag behind uh, in su- in such things other states they are increasing in their number we don't want to be left behind so we also have come to that level where uh, it is said that, that yeah rhode island has become uh, a high spreading state now there are norms you know below 50 per 100000 is considered low spread then 50 to 100 medium spread now it has gone beyond 100 uh, it is 110 uh, so it has jumped to the category mm, not an enviable distinction at all so uh not that there is, is don't press any panic button but we have to uh, be cautious so please uh, put on face masks f- f- for all our programs here uh, f- uh, when you come next time so any questions Yes Charlie has a question here a first web questions are there any web questions there are no web questions okay so here we have a question come on charlie when i get a political email i think i don't have to get involved in that because i'm a vedantic but i feel like i'm making an excuse that i really should support the good cause yeah but this is what will you support good cause or the best cause ah good cause or the best cause ah yeah so and therefore it is all sorts of such causes uh, they are brought out uh, the world uh, the protection of the environment and so forth good it is nothing bad about it uh, but uh, by shouting uh, uh, all those things uh, you are if you are forgetting the most important necessary thing is that realize god mm, that uh, the earth the universe uh uh-huh. even if you uh, have make the environment great uh, stop all uh, global warming and usher in global cooling cooling still it is evanescent the universe comes and goes so everything will have its reactions as well so therefore all those things and do whatever is uh, you feel just but do not get too enamored by that the goal is to realize god mm. other things they come and go uh, that is the meaning that is the significance of the message of shri ramakrishna so let us conclude with the closing prayers may the divine who is father in heaven of the christians holy one of the jewish faith allah of the muslims buddha of the buddhist dao of the daoist great spirit of the native americans ahur mazda of the zoroastrians and brahman of the hindus lead us from the unreal to the real from darkness to light 
from death to immortality may the all loving being manifest himself unto us and grant us abiding understanding and all consuming divine love peace 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 be unto all